Hello everyone, I am Varkha from InShort Check and Webinar. Today in this video, I will demo the process of generating a certificate of liability insurance in the Accord 25 form from within Salesforce FSC. An Accord 25 certificate of liability insurance is a document that proves your business has liability insurance coverage. Your business will probably have multiple types of insurance policies to cover liability risks of various types. A certificate of insurance clearly details all the different insurance types you have along with other key details. The Accord 25 summarizes the information about the insurance policies you have with information of the named insured providing clarity on who is covered description of operations to provide an overview of the business operations policy information including policy numbers coverage types effective dates limits of liability for understanding the extent of coverage and cancellation notice assurance that certificate holders are notified if the policy is cancelled the accord 25 form also provides information on all the parties listed in the insurance policy the accord form 25 supports policy types like commercial general liability automobile liability umbrella liability workers compensation and employee liability if the insured has any other liability coverage besides these lines it also supports them so in this video we will show you how you can generate a liability insurance certificate for these policies within Salesforce FSE using the WinShort Tech AMS package. So let's start the process. So I am on a policy page in Salesforce FSE. You will find all the important details like policy details, coverage details, AL3 download details related and more now all you have to do is click on the icon on the right side corner and select the certificate of liability insurance which is a court 25 form in the next step, you will find all the policies associated with the insured. You can select any number of policies for which you want to generate the certificate. But for now, I am selecting all the available policies. Now let's click the continue button. On the next page, you need to add the certificate holder's name. You can search for an existing holder or add a new certificate holder. I am selecting the add certificate holder option. So here I am filling in all the details like certificate holder name, address, state, zip code, city, and country now let's click on the select and save button you can also add more certificate holders names if needed in the next step click on the generate form button if you need to make any changes you can click on the edit button to modify the form as needed so let's click here So in this form you will see important information like producers information, agency information and insured information. Below in the policy section you will see the policy information has been filled in with the selected policy data into the Accord 25 form. First you will notice the serial letters representing the carrier's policy data in sequence. In this column, you can view the carrier's name and below, you can view all the corresponding details related to the policy 
for that specific carrier moving on you will see in the first section which is for commercial general liability there are two fields claims made and occur if a claim under this policy has an open status the occur field will be filled but if the claim status is closed the claims made field will be filled below we have the check boxes for the general aggregate limit applies it specifies how the aggregate limit is applied if the cgl coverage is based on the location the location field will be filled if the coverage is based on the entire policy the policy field will be filled along with these fields there is another field additional insured one thing i want to tell you is if the certificate holder is also an additional insured then this field will be marked as y otherwise it will be marked as n in this example since the additional insured's name is different from the certificate holder's name the field is marked as n additionally you will find fields for the policy number policy effective date policy expiration date and policy coverages information you will find the coverages under this policy if the insured has chosen any of these coverages then their limit amounts will be shown in the related fields you will see each occurrence with its limit amount mid expense and general aggregate and its limit amount the last field is the description field which will be filled if the policy has any other liability coverage that is not listed explicitly here the next policy is automobile liability which includes some fields to list different types of vehicle coverages the first field is the any auto the any auto field applies which means the liability coverage is applicable to any auto the other one is all owned autos and it refers to the vehicles that you own the next one is the scheduled autos field which covers vehicle listed on your policy the hired autos field is for vehicles that you have hired or rented while the non owned autos field applies if you use vehicles that you don't own in addition to these fields the policy also includes details such as policy number policy effective date policy expiration date and policy coverages similarly you can see the policy coverage with its value you will find the combined single limit with its limit value bodily injury per person and bodily injury per accident with its limit value property damage with its limit value next we have umbrella liability and excess liability if the umbrella policy coverage is of umbrella type then the umbrella liability field will be filled if it is excess type coverage then the excess liability field will be filled similarly you will find two additional fields here one for occur and the other for claims made so as i said earlier if you have the open claim status the occur field will be filled if the claim status is closed the claims made field will be filled along with this you will find the policy number policy effective date policy expiration date along with this you can see its coverages and its limit amount like you will find the each occurrence and its limit amount next we have the workers compensation and employers liability for workers compensation and employers liability policies if any proprietor partner executive officer or member is excluded from coverage this field will be marked as y otherwise this field will be marked as n you will also find its policy number policy effective date policy expiration date along with this you can also see this field which is the employers liability so this is the description of the other policy coverages below that you will find the limit amount for employer liability in the each accident policy coverage
नेक्स्ट यू कैन ऑल्सो सी दी लिमिट अमाउंट फॉर एम्प्लॉयर लाइबिलिटी दिस इज ईच एम्प्लॉय नियर द एंड यू विल सी दी सर्टिफिकेट होल्डर इंफॉर्मेशन यू कैन ऑल्सो ई साइन द फॉर्म इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यू कैन टाइप योर नेम the form has been e-signed by clicking on the download button you can also download the certificate if you want to let's click here so the certificate has been downloaded so this is how you can generate a liability insurance certificate I hope this video was useful. I will be back soon with another video. For any assistance regarding AL3, Accord Forms, Accord XML, or any PNC insurance project, feel free to contact us at contact at the rate winshortech.com.